Fashion Special. In Paris, there is a place and an event where being elegant and to be seen remains of paramount importance. That thrilling historical venue is the Longchamp Racetrack, famed for its Grand Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's beautiful. Um, to come to Longchamp and see um, such an elegant race, the setting, the, the, the people, it's very beautiful. Horse racing tends to be elegant and beautiful. It's the sport of kings. But I think always the French do everything a little better. The Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe's grand prize for elegance was abolished in 2008. Each year, in the name of tradition, personalities sporting spectacular hats throng to Longchamp's lush lawns. The hat is absolutely not an accessory, it's a keynote. I'd even say it's the most crucial aspect of an outfit. A beautiful hat properly worn scores 100% on seduction. Who wears hats today? Women with sufficiently strong personalities who are at once charming and assertive. Today, this prestigious event is sponsored by the state of Qatar. Rumor has it the investment was up to 40 million euros. Elegantly turned out Qataris grace the Emirates' private box. It's a magnificent day. Women like us are given an opportunity to wear beautiful hats, to dress well and look natural and enjoy the event. It's important for women to be able to dress well. An opportunity like this one is truly magnificent. It's really a very special moment, a chance to express ourselves and be whatever we feel like being. A hat can be eminently symbolic, almost like a mascot to its owner. Yes, I tend to choose a tie because it reminds me of something. Take this one, it reminds me of a jacket my jockeys wear when my horses are racing. It is yellow and black. As for this hat, I don't wear it in daily life because I don't work in the city of London. Has Qatar's official participation changed the atmosphere of the races? Yes and no, it hasn't changed that much because the Arc de Triomphe has always been a rendezvous of elegance. Qatar is an exceedingly demanding sponsor. They really wanted a top-notch event. That's why they asked for and gave us the necessary means. So as partners, they perfectly understand the need for elegance. Elegance, with sometimes a hint of nostalgia. Mr. Delon, isn't this a truly exceptional day filled with amazing energy? Why energy? Do you think I no longer have any? What's really exceptional is what happened with His Highness the Aga Khan. The first thing he said was, I'm touched to be here with you. What elegant trends will the future bring? Let's bet on a harmonious blend with a twinge of formality and a whiff of charm.